Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to it. Another amazing episode of the Pitch Side Podcast. Tommy, Tommy. Yes, sir. How are it's, you? It's good to see you, man. Good Axel, to see you, man. What do you mean? I'm feel so. I'm so. You've changed, eh? What's <laughs> no, no, what what, What's happening in your life? Hey, Amen. There's a lot that is going on. I'll show you a synopsis of what's happening in your life. Synopsis? Yeah. Brief. Okay, brief. brief. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I missed you, Naves. Yeah? Yeah, I was away. Yeah. Yeah. No, good to see you. Uh, sh- cruise. I was at uh, Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> That time you were in Limpopo. <laughs> no, in Limpopo, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I was around. You were around. Mm. How are you? Uh, no, I'm great, man. Good, good to, to see you, my brother. Yeah, man. Good to see you. We're looking back, mm-hmm. starting off uh, coming from the Derby versus uh, Super Sport United. Mm-hmm. What a game. Very tactical game. You loved it? I loved it. I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, you need side matches. Yes. Because um, when you when you are in Mamelodi Sundowns, you need to be tested now and yes. again, uh, because you're going to the Champions League knockout. Yes. So there and there, you need to find teams that are stubborn, and you have to come up with a plan to you know surpass them and even to outplay them. Mm. You found a super sport team that was very very stubborn, mm. and uh, in in so many aspects of the game, yeah. they made it difficult for us. Yeah. But. I, I believe that uh, my boys were capable of, of beating them easily. Yeah. Um, but that is the test. You take those tests and you go to the next match. See, for me, it's, it's an uncomfortable game because... I never used to love it, it to, myself. Yeah, I don't. Mm. Um, the, it, it's a, always a tricky fixture, always a difficult fixture. I feel like they become a super, super... They become, and, and, and which they are, a top four team. But they become something else when they play against us. Who does it then, become something else when no, they play? No, but there are people that, you know, there are teams like, for example, I, I comfortably go into a team against, uh, I mean, a game against Freedom FC with confidence to yeah. say this one we're going to win. Mm. But uh, Stelis and Supersport for me are always tricky because it just goes, they're already at a high level and they yeah. go to a higher level. And yeah. then also for me, it's there's, it just seems like in those games, there's a level of control of the game that we lose. Yeah, uh, I think it's it's a it's a difficult emotion to take when you play for a super sport and you play mm. for Mamelodi Sundowns, or mm-hmm. you play for Mamelodi Sundowns, you have to go to a super sport yeah. team. So um, now you're playing like um, you are divided. These are family people yes. that you love so much, and then you are in the middle. So yeah. the emotions will always be in balance. Yeah. So you know very well that you are. We belong this side, yeah. but at the same time, you know what I mean. So I, I feel for 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 former uh, super sport players. Yes, and uh, even the the boys that are on, on the super sport team to yeah. that side because it it um, emotion that you need to have a skill to deal with it, mm. and um, it doesn't go away the whole ninety minutes. Then it plays in your head. Mm. I remember when I got here, I played yes. against uh, um, Celtics a week before I just joined uh, yes. thing, and. Uh, because my, the voices are still familiar. Yeah. Clifford Mulenga called <laughs> for a ball. One more pass. And I passed you. <laughs> and, and don't ever think I had to think twice about it because it's something that happened uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. So he's, he was still my teammate then. Yeah. So I can feel for, for what devs are here when they score against Super Sport. Um, Playing in a derby like that and yeah. scoring the type of cracker of a goal that Debs uh, scored, you know, yeah. then there's always this whole thing around celebrating versus your old team that uh, goal of uh, uh scott yes what a goal and i had to clap because i love such goals and yeah. uh, i used to strive to score such goals mm. simply because they decide the match where the match is so tight uh, and you saw when you play a super sport yeah. team the goal came at the right time where mm. i believe the team were, were making sure that um sundowns doesn't go into that box mm. easy mm. and um, when you score such goals mm they have to win the match for us. Now, when you scored in derbies and you played, you played for Celtic, you played for Super Sport, you played for Black Leopards, and when you were on the other side, did you celebrate your goals? I did. I did. I did. It's a goal. You have to feel. You have to have a feeling and enjoy. Remember, I was the midfielder. Yes. So I don't score much. Yes. Once I find that opportunity to score, I have to feel it. Yes. And you feel my celebration that this guy is excellent. <laughs> is happy. And I was just happy because of the, the technique that 
I have to use for me to score. It wasn't yes. an easy one. Yeah. But when I score, when it comes right in a match of that mm. nature, yo, it means a lot to me. It means ah, so much more. I celebrate. Yeah. Of course, the level of respect for, 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 for the team that I played for. Yeah. Uh, it, I'll show even before the match and after the match. Yeah. But in a 90 minutes, it's a business. I'm, sh I'm sorry. I have to express myself the way I know okay. how. Yeah. And by scoring a goal, we should see that you're expressing yourself. You're excited. Yeah, that's why we that's why we love goals. That's there's why. there's the term then they speak and but you know it's a, I don't celebrate as a sign of respect. I respect them before the match. Yes, I will respect even after the match. Even during the match, of course, there there's certain things that I will never do. But there's no ways you are not celebrating. No, 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 no. It's a goal. Let's enjoy a goal. Humanat. That's why when you score, did you hear the the crowd? Yes. Oh. They love it. <laughs> they love it. You must show that you love it as well. Indeed. Makes yeah. Sense. Unless it's a fluke and oh, I've got so many flukes in my life. But it's, when it's a fluke, it's still a goal. It's still a goal. They all count. So yeah. you have to show that you love those goals. Oh, amazing. Mm. Uh, move on to the next game now. We're going to go face uh, Maritzburg United. Now, Marysburg United are playing in the lower league. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that alone Sundance makes it... need to beat them. Yeah, it makes you it a very why? difficult one. Because they once and they nearly took my league. In, uh, in, Debe, in, in Maritzburg. Maritzburg. I remember when we played. Lebo was there. Our, he was there. We were there. And, 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 and uh, Coach Pizzo said, don't worry, we'll finish it in Pitot. <laughs> I was there. I remember. There? I was there. Yeah, that feeling. I didn't we like didn't that feeling. We didn't even speak after the game. It was, one, mm. it was sad. It was like we had lost. And, and we drew. And we drew. It was like I we was had not lost. Happy with them. I was not happy with them. So yeah. I just know uh, that my boys know that very well. Mm. And I'll remind them. Mm. That they need to win that match. Uh, mm. It's for me. I'm taking it this way. <laughs> You're taking it personal. Yeah. 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 Well, how much of a mind shift as a player do you have to make when you start to play against opposition from the lower league? Um, there's a fear that creeps in. Yeah. And that fear is normal because then you're playing against a team that you don't want to lose against. And, it, and, and that team says they are capable of winning football matches because mm. they are in there. And they nature of the tournament tells you that mm. um so can say that no yeah, yeah 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 so um a, a competition in in a, a way of of giving you uh, those um flashbacks when you yes. play yeah because one you remember those who suffered from this yes. especially the bigger teams you when you play against so-called small teams in a competition like this one goal or one un unorganized goal yeah. can take you out of the tournament. Yeah. So you play against a team that you you fear of mm. losing against them. But at the same time, you know the way that very, very well that you have to apply yourself for you to win this match. Mm. And it, the mindset has to shift altogether to say, mm. we have to find and score that goal. Early goal that will change everything. Because the longer you 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 keep them in the game when yeah, I keep the them more in confident the game. they ah, get. yeah if you don't score I get them there's in your view yeah do you think it's possible for any team to play against us with the high press no 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 not with the high press you yeah. have to, you can't play maybe Sundance with the high press the 90 minutes is impossible you must just put six at the back yeah, remember this thing. You can pr you can plan it and uh, and and think it's gonna come out right in a match. Mm. Um, it's 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 a game of seconds. Yes. Once one player is laid in a press, whew, the whole thing has fallen apart. Yeah. It's seconds and it's, it's seconds of disaster. Yeah. Yeah. So one press, if it goes it goes uh, wrong. Mm. you might concede from there mm. and you might never come back mm. come back so you need to choose your moment and i i believe when when teams play in Sando, they try by all means to choose those moments to say okay we're gonna press from there and there mm. but if they score earlier mm. uh, your pressing game is uh, your plan actually mm. is out of the window mm. how important is it for us to win the net bank cup it's so important so important mm. um a team like mamadi sundown should be should be a norm for them yes. to win uh, trophies. Yes. Yeah, because the, we're talking about different generation, and um, when we write in the, in the history books, you must look at the players that wins mm. football trophies, mm. and it's because you come to a team that has has got expectations mm. on and off the field, mm. and that tells you that there's no room for 
for errors. Mm. There's no room for um, what's the word? For us to drop the complacency, to drop the ball. You can't, can't drop the ball. Yeah, no, there's no room for that. Mm. You must always be on your A game because mm. we always keep talking about the quality players that we have. Mm. But it's no longer about the quality players that we have. Mm. It's about the standard that we have set as mm. a club. Mm. So we have to maintain that edge and every year, unfortunately. Um, you were there 24-0. Uh, <laughs> what is it going to take for us to get another record-breaking score like that? <laughs> what do you mean? When they do highlights, they yeah. are, we have no space to do any other team. <laughs> but we are going to do these guys and the goals they've scored. We're not names to know, man. How's that about? You know, we don't want those scores anymore. No, the, the most important thing is to win a football match. Yes. And an Headbank Cup, you need to win football match. Yeah. And um, it would be nice to see uh, so many goals. Yes. And uh, for specifically certain players that I know, they, they, they don't, they're struggling in, in this time, in this period. Yes. And your Shashas. Yes. Um, your, your Temba. Yeah. Your... your Gaston Serino, you need mm. your attacking players to score goals. Yeah. And this is kind of match that will give them that confidence back to say, no, we, 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 we want to score more. We want to continue to score more. And I believe if you score one, two, three before halftime, and then there will be that, you know, a rhythm of the team. Mm. They will want to score. Everyone wants to be in that box mm. at the end of the, the, the ball. Mm. And you want to see that, especially from your attacking players. There's this thing that happens in our uh, South African football. Once you are two or three goals up, we go to uh, Kasi Flavor. No, 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 not at Sundowns. <laughs> no, not at Sundowns. <laughs> Remember, uh, these guys, they can yeah. do that every minute. From mi one, minute one yeah. to minute zero. Yes. Oh, 90, sorry, not yes. minute zero. 98. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you will never touch the ball if they start doing that. Mm. You know, Prince Olomo used to call that matata. Yes. If they do matata, no. No, so, no. But not at sundowns because we, we, we understand this, where we are in, 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 in terms of uh, operation. Okay. So once you're there, um, you, 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 you play a simple and easy game that will give you results. Yeah. And so, you stick to your basics. Noma. Yeah. Score prediction. I see Mabel Sundowns winning 6-0. Yeah, yeah. Six. They're under pressure. Yes, yeah, 6-0. Okay. Yeah. All right, Tommy. You said it. You came back with it. I hope you <laughs> got it. came back with it. I hope you got it from... Uh... Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never hear the end of this one. I promise you. But what I know is six goals are coming out on, of that match. Okay, I look. I look forward to it. I mean, six goals is no no easy feat at all. What but do you mean? It's, I carry it's, against um... no, hundred percent. But it wasn't easy. I never said it's going to be easy. Yes, I said it's going to. They're going to win six zero. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, I've got some comments here that have come in from uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, the first one is from uh, Lonely channel. Medina. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lonely Medina says the Yellow Nation is an unstoppable train. Right. Tabani Matthew as well says, I'm happy that all the players we signed uh, playing as attackers are scoring. Lodge scored against Nidibu. Escoville, a uh, good uh, place kick. Now Matthews against Chipa. So he's a happy supporter, happy camper. He's a supporter. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Dimru underscore one says, thanks for the engagement through this podcast. Uh, my question to Skipper is, after your successful stint at uh, Sundowns, is it a secret or not that Bafana Bafana will do well in tournaments if Sundowns are always in the semis and uh, finals of the continent's best competition, including the FIFA Club World Cup? How important is this? We took long to, to, to take this uh, concept yes. of using Mamelodi Sundowns mm. uh, in the national team. We took yeah. long. And I understand why, because we are like that country that um, we still not, um, what's the word? Football going? heritage. Football heritage is a problem because people are word? still caught, yes, well, the, the, the same. Football heritage. People are still caught in the biggest team is A and B because oh, of the number yeah, of supporters yeah. rather than mm. looking at the so, success. Yeah, we need to move from, from that. And, and, and I, I use um, a 2010 a World Cup mm. as an example every time I speak about mm. this because Barcelona team was dominant in, in, in the world. Yeah. And they won 
the the, the World Cup mm. for Spain. Mm. And but when they ride there, mm. they don't ride Barcelona won the World no. Cup. They still Spain won that you know what I mean. So I think we we took long to to steal that or to live in this mm. uh, moment where any good player needs to be in the national team. Mm. And it doesn't matter how many players are coming from one team. If mm. if they are doing well for the for the team, mm. they can do well for the country. Hundred percent. Because they are, you know, they they are from here. Yeah. So why don't you use them? Because you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, makes sense. Uh, Dimru also is asking uh, to Naves. Thanks for the superb presentations, but do we foresee in future having an exclusive Mamelodi Sundance twenty four seven channel and not depend on biased media to tell false stories <laughs> and news? <laughs> hey, but I did have a direct. Listen, all you gotta do is go onto your WhatsApp, yeah. search for the Mamelodi Sundance uh, uh, page on there, and just click on the follow button, and the news will come directly into your inbox. You don't have to wait for any biased media. <laughs> I like We're coming that to way. you direct. <laughs> I like that. We're way. not going through the corners. Uh -uh. Uh, straight. So come straight direct. to the WhatsApp channel. It's there, and all the Mummy Lodi Sundowns news will come directly to your phone. I like That's that. That's simple, no? I like that. I like we're, that. we're coming with solutions. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mazandawana, please, please, please continue to support the team. Come through dressed in your yellow regalia. I love how they, they coming in numbers. I was yeah. at the... At Twani Derby uh, the other day. Mm. Oh, I love the feeling. Amazing. Every time I'm there, I'm ten tempted to go there where they play is Gubu. <laughs> so tempted. I was like, okay, today, okay, no, tomorrow. Yeah. To, today. The coming match, I'm there. Kakar. No, we'll take spirit with us and we'll go inside. <laughs> <laughs> spirit. Yeah. Please don't forget to leave us your comments. If you have any questions you want to ask, the guys are here to answer them. Please, please, please leave your comments, leave your questions, like and subscribe. We are Masandawana and this is the Pitch Side. Pitch Side!